Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 13, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Cry Havoc. So I scouted out my path, and let me tell you, I was not very happy with what I saw in my path for section two. But more on that later when we get there. So in section one, I take path one here. You can see that my teammate here, we're going around the same time, trying to clear our paths early. And this first fight is going to be up against Spider-Gwen. Now Spider-Gwen is annoying, but they did not choose dodge defense tactic. So I was thankful for that. She dodges a bunch on her own already. So I took in Gladiator Hulk, who is, in my opinion, the best for this path. All right, so you can see here, I'm trying to play it a little bit safe, trying to hit one, two combos. She caught me there, but look at that. Look at my health after that. That is why Gladiator Hulk is the best for this path. Uh, so far, I have not met anyone that gave him too much trouble. He's very safe, and it's very difficult to die on this path using him. So Starburst is going to activate his Face Me. While he has Face Me active, he's going to hit harder, and as you can see here, he's going to heal up a lot of the damage that he takes. Uh, when I first started using him, I went up against a Dormammu, and I activated Face Me because of his degen, and then got hit with a special three. I survived the special three and healed up almost back to full. It was awesome. All right, so he is very good with that face me. Now, when he doesn't have face me active, not so good. All right, so next up, we've got Gamora. Now, Gamora, very easy to fight. You don't want to get caught by that special two. I used to get caught by her special two, and it would take me out. All right, so you can see here, right off the bat, D-Gen and Face Me was activated. And because I'm not having to deal with a lot of evading, I can play a little bit more comfortably and aggressively like I like to do. All right, and you can see here I'm firing off his specials because even though I'm running suicides and I'm going to take the recoil damage, Face Me is active, so I'm healing up most of that damage. Yeah, Gladiator Hulk, definitely the best for that Starburst path. All right, so I did not fight that mini. I usually don't. Uh, didn't have anybody that would be able to do that. Uh, my Quake is on defense, uh, but we have others that bring in champions that can handle that node. Okay, now, on to Section 2 and why I don't like y'all, Cry Havoc. All right, so they did not place a defender on the first node. But look who they got here. Void. Do you know what that did to me? I had to change my mastery setup. I had to take off my suicides. And that's why I don't like y'all. All right, I've been running my suicides. I don't even take them off when I place defenders most of the time. Uh, I did a couple of times, but that's just because I wanted to see, you know, what my defenders could do. Okay, so I've taken off my suicides to deal with this void because trust me, if I had not done that, things would be very, very nasty. And things did not go quite according to plan anyway. So I boosted up and now I'm going in here. Now, Void is a villain, but I don't have my Ghost Rider, so I don't get Danger Sense. But, you know, it is what it is. I saw that and I'm like, well, Blaze should be able to handle it, right? So the first thing I'm noticing here is that I'm not doing a lot of damage. Well, I don't have my suicides and I'm used to my suicides. And so I'm just like, okay, what am I gonna do here? And then I just start getting hit. And then I got hit by that. And I'm just like, 
Oh, wow. That woke me up. Okay, there was no dropped inputs. That was just me playing badly, not paying attention and getting caught. And look at his health. So I was just like, okay, I underestimated uh, the healing and, and all of this, and I'm doing less damage. So I'm trying to regen a little bit and I'm trying to get him down. And I'm real nervous at this point. Cause I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this guy. Okay, so I'm trying to fire off my specials more often. Uh, and I stopped trying to evade that special too. I don't know why I can usually evade it, but after getting hit by it, I'm like, I cannot afford to get hit by that anymore. I'm gonna play it safe. And with Blade, I can easily just block like that. I'm gonna regen, so it's all good. I don't have to try to evade it, and trying to evade it is more dangerous because I could get hit and I'd be wrecked. All right, so now I'm just like, okay, I got this, boom and took him down. Very dicey there. I was very scared after that one special two to the face, I thought it was all over. But I hung in there, I didn't panic, at least not in my gameplay, and was able to pull it out. All right, so that was the last fight that I had to do in this war. They all handled uh, the rest of the fights. We are going for the win, so let's find out. And as you can see, we won. So, so far in the season, we've won the first war, lost the second war, which we could have won. Uh, that was all on my battle group. We played horribly. Uh, we died more than twice as much as either of the other BGs. And you saw how close that war was. So that was on us. This war, we performed much better single digit deaths. I think we had six deaths uh, for our BG uh, and we won this war. All right. So thanks for watching everyone. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.